chop boxing here and shit. We're gonna talk about this Emmanuel Navarrete versus Ruben Villa fight. So this fight's gonna go down tomorrow. Las Vegas, the bubble, top rank. It's for the vacant, I believe the WBO title. So it's a 12 rounder, obviously, because it's a real title it's for the vacant belt. Uh, in this fight, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a close one. But I like I like Emmanuel Navarrete's chances in this fight. He's a pressure fighter. He's nonstop. He has good stamina. He doesn't get tired. He's always going forward. And Ruben Villa, he's, he's got good skills, but um, he has no power. And I feel like the only way to beat Navarrete is to outbox him and or to knock him out. And Ruben Villa can't knock him out, so he has to outbox him. But this is a long fight. This is a 12-rounder. So outboxing Navarrete, who's constantly going towards you, who's constantly putting pressure um, for 12 rounds, is going to be really tough. So I don't see how uh, Ruben Villa beats him. I mean, Ruben Villa has beaten undefeated fighters before, but uh, Emmanuel Navarrete is just on a different level. I don't think uh, Ruben Villa is going to get the dub. I think it's going to be Emmanuel Navarrete by decision. I don't think Emmanuel Navarrete knocks him out. He could knock him out, he could stop him. No one stopped Ruben Villa before, but uh, I think it's gonna be a decision towards uh, Navarrete. So I got Navarrete winning the, uh, what's it called? Winning the vacant, the vacant title. Manuel Navarrete by decision, that's my prediction.